Hello my gorgeous friends and welcome back to another what I eat in a week video. If you're new here, my name is Kaylin and I mainly post about eating disorder recovery and intuitive eating. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love for you to click onto that subscribe button and become part of our little family. If you've never seen any of my videos like this, I just wanna preface this video by saying that I never show my portions. I just don't think that that information is important to share for comparison reasons and things like that. I will also never describe food as healthy or unhealthy. I don't think that that is a healthy mindset to have personally. So welcome. I am very anti-diet, anti-diet culture. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this video, but without further ado, let's get on with the rest of this vlog or video. <laughs> Happy Monday. This morning I was running super late for work. So I just poured myself a glass of iced tea and I had some nuts and a granola bar to start off my day. And now I'm really hungry. So we're gonna be making some lunch. I don't really know what's on the menu. So I'm gonna peek in the fridge, see what's what, see what we've got, maybe some leftovers and just make a yummy meal because then I've gotta go do some more client work and also edit another YouTube video. I'm finally getting back into like my YouTube grind. It feels so good. But anyway, let's get on with the food. All right, bestie. So I have some leftover baguette and some leftover cold cuts from a charcuterie board that I made this past weekend. So I think I'm gonna make Andrew and I a little sandwich with some of these cold cuts, some cheese, mayo, and mustard. And then I'll cut up some veg or have some kind of side. It sounds really good. So I think that's what we're gonna do. I love you. Although you give me feeling pain, you know I can't control. All right, besties, this is my lunch for today and it looks incredible. It smells incredible and I cannot wait to dig in. I have some sour cream and onion Pringles, literally the best Pringles ever. Some veg with some caramelized onion hummus and my sandwich. Cheers, besties. Mm. Let's try a bite of the sandwich too. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's salty and buttery, 10 on 10. So good. Hi friends, we just ordered pizza for dinner, but it's not going to be here for a little while. So I'm just snacking on some white cheddar popcorn and I'm also watching the ultimatum, which I don't know, I'm addicted to it right now. But this is a snack that I'm having right now. Our dinner just got here and I ordered a small vegetarian pizza. And I always like some sauce to dip the pizza in. Um, especially when it's like takeaway pizza and we forgot to order the garlic sauce that Domino's usually has So I'm just using some of this Caesar dressing to dip it in but this is dinner and to finish off the night I'm just having some of these Hershey's eggs. They're so freaking good. Hello my beautiful besties and happy Tuesday I need a super quick breakfast this morning So I took some rye bread out of the freezer because we have to go grocery shopping. So it's pretty slim pickings I'm going to add on some peanut butter and also sprinkle on some chocolate chips because I have a vision. I want to toast the sandwich in the pan with just a little bit of butter and make like a peanut butter chocolate toasty because I, I really want something sweet this morning. So we're going to honor that craving. Do I need permission to stop missing you? I I've never done anything like this, so we'll see how this turns out. You've been sending signs, no one getting through. All right, so breakfast is served. I have my little peanut butter sandwich, and then I also peeled a clementine. I'll let you friends know <laughs> what the sandwich tastes like and if it's worth making, so. Mm. I feel like it might be better on a different type of bread, but it's really good and definitely hits a spot this morning. Hi friends, you might hear the dogs chewing some bones in the background, but it has been a hell of a day. 
this week so far i've done so much work i'm feeling really really proud of myself i had some leftover pizza for lunch as you guys saw and for dinner tonight i'm making a roast chicken so i just have this organic chicken that i got from lufa farms and it thawed all day and it's ready to cook and then on the chicken we're going to put some butter some salt pepper a little bit of thyme and then inside of the chicken i'm going to cut up this lemon and stick it in as well as this onion and then we are also going to add in some garlic i would add fresh garlic but i don't have any so we're going to make this super simple roast chicken and serve it with some corn or salad or something like that and we'll have a delicious dinner Chicken is in, now we wait an hour and a half and then we make our sides and we're good to go for dinner. I'm also drinking some of this lemonade. It is called artisanal lemonade, just straight out of the container because I'm the only one who drinks this. It's fizzy and delicious and I love it. Oh, it's so good and sour, but like sweet at the same time. Kind of hard to describe, but I'm just sipping on this throughout the evening and the chicken already smells so good. So I can't wait to show it to you when it's all set and done. Holy hell, this looks so good and it's literally everything that I'm craving. I just have some of that chicken that I cooked, some corn that I have a little bit of salt and butter on, and then a homemade Greek salad. I love Greek salad so much, I can eat it, oh my goodness, so steamy, every single day. Mm. For my nighttime snack, I'm just having some of this cheddar popcorn and also some of those Hershey Easter eggs. We're just having some more late night snacks and we're having some of these pull and peel Twizzlers and also some of these baked Lay's chips. Happy Wednesday, friends. I'm starting my day off with a mango matcha and if you want the recipe for this, it will be on my TikTok. But I think today is the day that we are going to be making some lemon bars because I've wanted to make them for, for so long and Andrew is going to one of his friend's houses tonight friends houses friends house <laughs> whatever so i'm going to make some for him to bring and then i'll make like myself a mini one so at least i can try it to make sure it's good before he brings them to his friends so we'll make those today i think i'm just going to go upstairs do some work while i sip on this and then we'll come down and we'll make a either brunch slash breakfast really exciting Hi friends, it's been like 20 minutes since that matcha and I'm hungry so I'm making a smoothie and in here is mango, dragon fruit, some spinach, some orange juice, peaches and I think that's it. So I'm gonna blend this bad boy up and that will be breakfast for today. Is it the prettiest color? No, but it will taste amazing and I think that that's the main thing that matters. I'm not gonna lie, this one tastes a little bit grassy. I think it's because I forgot to add yogurt in, but it's okay. We'll, we'll survive, we'll be okay. Hello, my beautiful friends. It's a little bit later and we are about to make some lemon bars. It's been a really long time since I've made them and I'm really, really excited because I love lemon bars. I love lemons. I just think it's such a nice spring like dessert. So let's make it together. I'm going to link the recipe that I use in the description down below, but let's just get right into it. If you've never had a lemon bar before, this is your sign to make one. If you have never had one, I, I want you to try it, okay? It has a shortbread base with basically like a lemon curd, a lemon filling, and, and then it has dusted powdered sugar on top. We're gonna see how it turns out, so let's go. I'm going to be using my KitchenAid, but honestly, you can do this by hand. It would just be a little bit more tedious. So into the bowl over here, we're going to add in one cup of butter. I'm using some salted butter. Next, I'm going to add in half a cup of granulated sugar. Next, we're going to add in some vanilla, a little bit of salt. I'm putting in a little bit less because I used salted butter instead of unsalted. And lastly, two cups of all-purpose flour. So once your dough looks nice and crumbly like this, I'm just going to put it into two pans over here 
you should use parchment paper, but I only have tin foil. So I put the tin foil down and I added a lot of butter. So I'm hoping that it doesn't stick, but if it does, that is my fault. And now I'm just going to bake these for around 20 minutes in the oven until the crust is nice and done. So while the crust bakes in the oven, we are going to make our lemon filling slash lemon curd. I think it really, I don't know, it's delicious. So let's make that together. This recipe requires lots of eggs. So first things first, we are going to crack seven eggs into our bowl. And then we're also going to add in three cups of granulated sugar. Next, we're going to juice some lemons so we get around a cup of lemon juice. Let's see if this is a cup of lemon juice. Look, perfect. Going to grate a little bit of the lemon zest as well to put in there. And then to our lemon mixture, we're going to add in the zest. Mm. This is going to be so freaking good. And the last thing that we're going to add into here is one cup of all purpose flour. I really should have gotten a bigger bowl. <laughs> I just put the lemon bars in the oven. I poured on our lemon filling, I guess I could say, on top of the baked shortbread. And now it's going to cook in there for around 35 minutes and I'll show you when it comes out. So while the lemon bars are cooking, I just made myself some lunch. And this is just leftovers from Sunday, so I'm just having a taco. So I just have a tortilla with some cheddar cheese, some beef with taco seasoning, lettuce, salsa, and sour cream. I'm gonna eat this and hopefully the lemon bars will be done soon so I can show you. It is the moment of truth. This is like the practice one and the other one is the one that I would send uh, with Andrew for his friends. So let's see if it's even worth it to bring. My tin foil hack worked, which I'm really happy about. Look at how beautiful that lemon bar is. Oh my freaking God. I just accidentally knocked off all of the powdered sugar on the slice. All right. This is so good and sweet and tangy. I think they're really gonna like it. So I ordered sushi for dinner and I'm so excited for it to come. I'm so hungry. But while I'm waiting, I'm just snacking on some of these barbecue Pringles because they sounded really good. So I'm having some of these and I will show you my sushi when it gets here. Friends, my sushi finally arrived. I've been waiting so long and I'm so hungry. Over here is a shrimp tempura roll. This is a spicy tuna roll. And I believe this is spicy salmon. I'm not 100% sure. And then I have some salmon nigiri and some salmon and avocado nigiri. And then on the side, I'm gonna have some spicy mayo with some soy sauce. We'll try at least one bite together because then I'm going to watch Shameless and just veg out for the rest of the night. Maybe have a snack, I don't know. Who knows what the night has in store? Only my body knows, nobody else. I think I'm going to start off with a spicy salmon roll. And I'm just going to dip this and some spicy mayo. Look at how good that looks. Mmm, I'm so excited. Mmm, mm -hmm. mm. it was a really big bite. I love sushi. It's so good. I'm just going to gobble this up, watch some Shameless, and if I have anything else, you'll see me soon. Cheers. Mmm. So my wife okay. A nurse has just left me like we know what the fuck we're doing. This is Amy and that's Gemma. Another step now, I don't even know how we got here. Shortness in my breath now, looking for a way out, it's not clear. But 
For lunch today, I made us some Nan pizzas. Apparently, I'm in a really pizza mood this week. And we still haven't gone grocery shopping, so I just have some Nan bread, some sauce, some cheese, and some onion. And is this my third time this week having pizza? Yes. And do I feel guilty about it? Absolutely not. There is no room on this plate for shame or guilt ever. Some weeks I have pizza multiple times. Some weeks the thought of pizza doesn't even cross my mind. And I just, I go with the flow. Nothing bad is going to happen if I eat this pizza. I promise you, okay? Anyway, I'm going to eat this. I'm also obsessed with the top that I'm wearing. You might've seen this in a recent video, which was a mid-size try-on haul. And it's from my friend, Lakin Small Business. She thrifts clothes and she puts together boxes for people that correlates with their budget and with their style. And I'm obsessed. I'm, it's so comfy and it's so me. And I just, I'm in love. Hi friends, it is later and I'm just snacking on some tortilla chips, but we're actually about to go and get dinner and tonight we're going to get some Indian food. We haven't been grocery shopping. I do not have the energy to grocery shop or even to like put together meals in my head to pick up things. It's just one of those weeks and there's nothing wrong with that. I have ordered takeout. This is going to be the third time this week and it's okay. Not every week is like this. Not every week will be like this. Some weeks I'll cook at home and some weeks I'll eat out for most of the week and that is okay. Our body goes through different shifts and sometimes for our mental health or whatever it might be, we don't have the capacity to cook on a daily basis or don't want leftovers or whatever it might be. And it's definitely a privilege to be able to eat out. Don't, don't get me wrong there, but it's nothing for me to feel guilt about. So we're going to do that today and I'll show you the Indian food when it comes. I always get butter chicken because it's my favorite thing ever. So good with naan bread, delicious. All right, besties. So for my lunch today, I'm just having leftovers from dinner last night and some leftover naan bread. This morning I was in such a rush, so I just grabbed a package of almonds and a granola bar. I ended up having another granola bar and also a bite of lemon square that I wasn't able to show, mainly because I was like running up and down in between meetings. But I'm going to have this now. And I know that this hasn't been like the most interesting what I eat in a week. I feel like normally I share a lot more recipes and variety and things like that, but I think that it's definitely realistic because some weeks are like this. But I am going grocery shopping today, so I hope our next What I Eat in a Week, which I think I'm gonna film next week, will be full of variety and different recipes and will just be more exciting all together. But I will do a grocery haul because I love seeing grocery hauls. I think that they're so interesting and so fun. So I'll show you what we get later on today. We'll do a little bit of a haul. And yeah, I think I might also be making one of my favorite chicken dishes for dinner tonight. So I'll share with you if we end up making that as well. I also made Andrew some of this craft dinner. So I'm, I'm taking the girlfriend tax, you know? Sometimes you're just in the mood for craft dinner, you know? Hello friends, excuse the lighting, but it is later and we just came back from the grocery store as well as Costco. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that we got. We'll do a quick grocery haul because it's late and I've gotta make dinner and go to bed because I'm exhausted. So let's do it. Also, we are going to ignore the dirty dishes in my sink, but first things first, I got some romaine lettuce, some tortilla chips, some Kraft Singles. I love using this for grilled cheese and then also just for like burgers and things like that. I got two different flavors of ice cream because I'm an ice cream bitch lately. I don't know what's up with me. Usually I'm not, but I'm just, I'm on that train right now. So I found this chewy gooey cookie, which I've never tried before. And also this Chagnon chocolate fudge, which I've also never tried before. So I'm excited for that. Some cream cheese. I got two of these, a little boccuccini uh, because I'm going to make a salad with them this week. Some chives. I've been making my own iced tea at home, basically just brewing tea and putting it in the fridge and it's so good. And I really wanted to try this raspberry pomegranate tea. Some bacon, eggs. Andrew and I both love this popcorn. I don't love the name, but really, really like it. 
I was craving strawberries so badly, and so I just kind of wanted to, to see which ones would be better, so I picked up two cartons of those. I got a bunch of different types of tomatoes because I am a tomato gal. This is going to be for that salad with the bocconcini, and this is just because I eat tomatoes all the time. I forgot what this is called for a second. Um, some cheese curds. I've never had this skillet gnocchi, but I thought it would be good just for an easy dinner. Some rotisserie chicken that we are going to use for our dinner tonight, some coconut milk, cucumber, some feta cheese, and also some grated parmesan and pecori pe pecorino <laughs> romano, which I don't know if that's parmesan, but got both of those. There's that second bocconcini, some garlic, and looking at my phone from this angle, it just makes me want to wipe it down and clean it. That, she's, she's dirty, she's dirty. I also picked up my favorite food ever, bagels, so good. Some Kit Kat minis, which I've never tried, but I thought that it would be really nice just to have on hand um, to give to guests when they come or if they sleep over just to put like a little chocolate on their pillow. Awesome. Some mango nectar for smoothies and also some chocolate soy milk because this is my favorite stuff ever. I can drink it on ice, I use it in smoothies. If you're looking for like a good plant-based chocolate milk, this one is my favorite. I prefer it over regular chocolate milk, but I love them all some chicken wings because I wanna make those sometime this weekend. A big thing of potatoes from Costco. A cute little baguette. These are my favorite yogurts. So if you are from Montreal or even Canada, I think that this is a Canadian brand. Every flavor from this yogurt company, it just slaps. These two are my favorite, the strawberry banana and then this coffee yogurt, they're incredible. Some mushrooms from Costco, raspberries from Costco, some bananas. I also got some, oh, I can never pronounce this some Worcestershire, War Worcestershire, frick, that sauce. We're having some friends over tomorrow and we are going to be making filet mignons. So Andrew bought a Costco pack of those. And then the last thing that we got are these scent boosters. These are my favorite. They make your clothes smell so good. And this is also my favorite scent. But that is everything that I got. I've got to put it away and then we will make our last meal together. All right, besties. So we are going for something a little bit more simple tonight. Originally, I was going to make my favorite peanut butter chicken dish, but I forgot some ingredients. So we are improvising and we're doing something else. And I'm also needing something that's going to be a lot quicker because as I mentioned, I am so tired. So we are going to be making a chicken Caesar salad for dinner, but we're gonna put a little bit more effort into it today and I'm going to be making a homemade Caesar dressing which I've never done before. The ones that I buy at the store just haven't been hitting the spot and whenever I get a Caesar salad at like a restaurant, it's always so much better. So I'm hoping that I like this dressing. I'm supposed to use anchovy paste but I actually wasn't able to find any at the store. So we're gonna go without and we're gonna kind of improvise this as we go. First things first, get a bowl. And I'm going to chop up two cloves of garlic. If I can, oh my God, open it. Oh my God. What is this garlic made of? Freaking leather? Look at how big these cloves of garlic are. Delicious. Okay, now that I've cracked that garlic open, I'm just gonna give it a good chop. I really have to invest in a garlic mincer. Next, I'm going to add in two teaspoons of this sauce. I will not be trying that pronunciation again. Next, we're going to add in the juice of around half a lemon. God, I'm also feeding the dogs at the same time. I'm back. Going to add in one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Ooh, that looked like a little bit too much, but it's okay. I do a half cup of freshly, well not freshly, I guess pre-grated Parmesan. Some salt, pepper, and then one cup of mayo. And now I'm just whisking all of that together. That is so freaking good. Mm, and so easy to make. I'm gonna be making this time and time again. It's delicious. All right, besties. So I have two heads of romaine lettuce here, some bacon, some rotisserie chicken, as well as some pecorino romano cheese. And I'm just going to add some of our homemade dressing. And then with this, we're just going to have some baguette with boursin.
All right, I'm in my PJs, but it is time for the moment of truth. Let's give it a bite. Got a little bit of everything on here. I'm pretty sure that that's the best thing that I made all week. This dressing is a must try. It is so freaking good. I'll leave the ingredients listed in the description down below. Yeah, that's dinner tonight. The salad with some bread and cheese. It's gonna be so good. And if I have anything else, then you will see me. But thank you so much for watching this video. That is it for today. If you want to see my face a little bit more often and videos like this, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below so that you can become part of this little family. Yeah, I really hope to see you in my next video. Don't forget to do something kind for yourself. Bye friends.